All right, guys. Finally, we are done with the Mansory Rolls Royce Phantom project. As you can see, we are actually at a studio in downtown LA and we are shooting this bad boy right here. This thing is insane. Um, my favorite build of the year, including the probably the 812 we just did. Look at this thing. It's got lights everywhere. Obviously, this is a newer facelift model phantom because it is that does have the starlights in the headlights so this is a 2024 rolls royce phantom uh with pretty much almost no miles on it brand new car this car was bought with the purpose to do the mansory kit actually the mansory kit was already on order before the car so i'm gonna go and explain in detail what we did to this car Starting with the front, you got the fenders and the bumpers changed. Yes, the whole fender has been changed. The Phantom kit, you have to get the fenders with the Mansory kit because of this section right here. This is added on uh, from Mansory. So the fender itself is this whole thing and the bumper is actually kind of small. So this fender is not a wide body. It has the slits on the sides and it has basically this section. So. We had to install that and actually paint it. So this is painted to the factory metallic black color, as you could see. It's got LEDs here, LEDs there. Now it's it's the front end looks so aggressive and mean. It's crazy. Uh, we opted for the forged carbon fiber material for this project. It has the forged carbon underneath. And we even got the forged carbon fiber hood, which a lot of people skip on the hood. But on this black car, it looks incredible. Front end, we got the grill right here. Um, this grill we actually blacked out and we did red inside the slits so from different angles you can see the red including the mansory one down there we did black and red as well to match the factory grill rolls royce hand painted emblems in red and black we also have two little red eyes on the spirit of ecstasy if you guys saw that in one of our pictures so you could barely tell but it has two red eyes right there um and like i said this front end is crazy uh, we could go to the wheels right here, the 24-inch Mansory wheels. And as you can see, the Mansory center cap, and we did a red ring around there to go with the theme of this vehicle. Uh, we have the good tires on there, and the car has been lowered, obviously, to a safe drivable height. These are the fender slits that I was talking about. As you can see, it's got Mansory right there, and the hand-painted logo we did. Side skirts, forged carbon fiber from Mansory as well. And now we're going to go to the back here. The back, of course, has the Mansory rear bumper with forged carbon fiber visible throughout. Uh, the little slit there and the lower. We also have the forged carbon fiber trunk spoiler and we even have the roof spoiler. So all of those accessories, everything looks incredible. And one of the best things about this car is it's got a full red interior, which I'm gonna show you guys how nice that looks. We have the Mansory floor mats. We have Mansory forged carbon fiber door sills that light up. I've never seen that uh, in a car before around here. We have the Mansory steering wheel. This is not a custom 
uh, steering wheel that was sent out to an upholstery shop, whatever. This is straight from Mansory, has the Mansory logos and everything. So that is a Mansory steering wheel. We also have Mansory pillows in the back. So that's really nice. We'll hop in there for a moment and talk more, but this is a crazy job. All right, we're in the back seat of that Rolls Royce Phantom. Like I said, red interior. It's got the captain seating in the back. So basically no seat in the middle. It has this whole thing. Uh, you got the controls, you got the TV right here. Obviously the factory, beautiful starlight. Nobody does it like Rolls Royce, looks incredible. The Mansory pillows, floor mats, door sills, truly a crazy car. This is not the long wheelbase, by the way, this is the short. So if you drive it, you can still drive it without a chauffeur or you get a chauffeur and you can sit on the back and enjoy it. But this is, this is an insane car. Uh, my buddy Moshe Lizzi owns this car and uh, I couldn't be prouder for him to own such a beast and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. You guys remember this Challenger. This Challenger was the car that we did a full paint job on. Um, unfortunately, the customer didn't have enjoyment on this car. So as soon as he took it after the car was done, less than two weeks, car came back. Um, he heard some noise while driving the car. Uh, come to find out, Javier took it apart. We have a damaged uh, we have a damaged lifter. And it caused damage to the cam as well. So, um, unfortunately, this thing is a lot of work. We're gonna have to replace the cam. We're gonna replace the lifters um, for now. Customer has different things in mind in the future. Um, as you guys can see, it's all damaged there and there's a lot of damage on the cam as well. So. So we're gonna try to get this car to running condition for now. Um, customer has bigger things, bigger dreams in mind. After three to four months from now, we're gonna swap this whole engine and we're gonna put something insane in here. But for the for the, the time being, we're just gonna get this car back on the road, do minimum as possible so you can enjoy it. Yeah, it is. We have one of the heads here. Rest of the parts are there. Other heads coming out, cams coming out. And um, it sucks, man. I mean, the guy didn't even enjoy the car, but hopefully after this, you can drive it a little bit until he's ready to put in that monster engine in here after three to four months. Let's do it. This shit's heavy, I know. Here we go. Okay, where am I gonna where, put this here too? Okay. Yeah, here we go. We are getting ready to pull the other head out. Javier needs help. This thing is not light. Hold on. From where? Wait. Ow. Yes. Something's holding. Leave it, leave it, leave it, okay. leave it. <clears throat> All right, head number two out. We're getting there. Now, now we have half of the engine out, you guys. And this is what it looks like when half of the engine is out. Javier did this all in half a day. Uh, less than half, a little more than half a day. The AMG GT finally returns. Mercedes has stripped it down. No longer a bespoke platform. <coughs> no more rear mounted dual clutch transaxle or dry sum. BMW fucker. Four liter twin turbo V8 with a nine speed automatic transmission. Oof. Does this smoke the M5? This is all wheel drive. It has <laughs> four seats, so really cool, actually. I'll take this over cool. BMW any day. Pretty cool. It shits on BMW. The video turns up. See you next time. Bye -bye.